Good morning traders and welcome to the Asian preview and the North American wrap from Privateer FX. Start of the North American session, it all looked a bit risk off for the first hour or so. European equities were lower, uh, following up on uh, the Nikkei was down again, its fourth straight day down. And uh, Cross Yen was under a little bit of pressure early on. But the biggest mover in currencies, take a look here was the euro dollar which uh, was up about a percent today just over one percent it's a huge move the average daily range average true range in euro dollars like 45 50 pips and you know, we uh, we closed yesterday down at uh, 11670 ish and we got up this to a high of 118.05 so we're back up here in this red bar here was the ECB, the dovish ECB meeting on the 26th. And uh, there was a lot of selling. We broke these the neckline of the head and shoulders. Then it consolidated for a couple weeks and couldn't really go anywhere. Today we were told that the real money was taking back their shorts. And uh, you can see here that you know this was, uh, this was indeed a powerful move. The break level that we had highlighted yesterday was this 116.92 area. You can see what we did. We broke through it, pretty clean break, and went straight up, you know, another 100 and, 110 points. So, so we are back to this 118 handle, just below the 118 handle, uh, and, and back to levels where, where we were before the ECB meeting back in October. Another uh, break area that we highlighted is this dollar yen at 112.96. You can see we have this little uptrend line in the 240s. Didn't do a whole lot. It did go up to 113.90 yesterday during Asia. I have no idea what it was doing up there. And then, uh, you know, we've been a little bit lower the past uh, during the North American hours. So we're, high, we're we're looking closely at this 113.09 and then the 112.96 and see if this dollar yen can catch up with the the if the broad dollar weakness starts to spread. Then I think dollar yen would be a good candidate to be short. Uh, what else do we uh, look at? Here's a dollar turkey again. This is some of the risk off that we saw early, just out of nowhere. Dollar turkey rallied from about uh, 387 and it got up to 391. So we're just shy of the highs of the year that were put in in January, this 394 level. So I would keep a close eye here on these old highs because I suspect that the market is still long turkey and uh, the way that this thing trades with the, the low liquidity, it can have some pretty outside moves in, in, uh, you know, in short order. Uh, Cable had an interesting uh, session as well it we did finally get above there were some offers around 13130 we took those out and we had some hourly highs here at 13135 once we broke that it went straight up messed around a little bit in the 50s and then in about one minute it went from 50 to close to 90 and this is that old this is the gap the last friday's close here at 13190 and we uh, gapped open a little bit lower on the on the uh, asian open on uh, monday morning so we are, we pretty much filled that gap. And again, there was no news or anything. I think it was just uh, just part of the, the dollar sell program that had gone through uh, throughout the whole North American <laughs> session. Aussie dollar after a couple down days, reversed higher. Dollar yen, a reversal lower. Not much going on there. Gold is interesting, a bullish engulfing pattern here. Took out yesterday's range. Made a new low, took out yesterday's highs, and are closing above it. Euro yen had a big up move with uh, following the euro dollar higher. Again, we're still in this range, 131.50 to 134.50, so no real damage done, but it, it's something to watch. Uh, it looks like it, this is set to test this tonight, uh, or you know, during the uh, Asian session, or potentially the the uh, European hours. Uh, one other market that we uh, caught my attention today is Dollar China. Here's a two-day pattern of kind of a doji, doji type day. 
followed by a big down day. And this is just reflective of the euro move. You know, dollar China goes down when euro goes up and vice versa. And uh, another Asian currency, dollar Singapore. This had an outside reversal day lower, and we're getting into some of these old daily lows. So, you know, Trump is returning from Asia. There's some talk of him announcing some new trade deals with the Asian, some of the Asian countries. And we're wondering if something bigger is going on, and, and you know, hence the euro dollar move higher. And um, so we, we're, we're keeping a close eye on the headlines, you know, potential for Thursday, Friday, where Trump announces maybe some new initiatives that uh, trade initiatives with with Asia. And, you know, he is he wants stronger currencies out of China and out of Japan uh, to make the trading with those countries to make it more competitive with the U.S. So, you know, perhaps there's something going on behind the scenes that, that we're not aware of. So definitely, uh, definitely pay attention to that that theme. A lot of tax reform news going through. It's passed in the House Ways and Means Committee, but there's many more boxes to check. And we think this drags on, you know, into December. Uh, taking a look at the economic calendar ahead, we don't have much during the Asian session, nothing really. Then UK, we've got their jobs number. Claim and count change and the average earnings index is the important one. We'll keep an eye on that forecast for 2.1%. Broadbent from the MPC uh, speaks as well. And then the the most important data tomorrow would be coming out in North America. And that's getting the US CPI and retail sales, Empire Manufacturing all coming out at the same time. So there could be some uh, there could be some movement there and then um, Tomorrow morning and during Asia, we have the uh, Australian employment change numbers. So that looks like that looks like pretty much everything from the uh, as far as the economic calendar goes. And uh, yeah, so keep an eye on euro. It's been a been a powerful day. Real strong demand throughout the whole session. Let's see if we can get some fall through back up to those mid 118s. Good luck today. All the best.